The Aquarian begins with a need to need. There must be something in this whole world one can care about, and this is what he wants to find. In time, he'll find an infinite variety. He is, in truth, the arrow which points the way to tomorrow. And so, in this time, in this place, there are some problems posed. The first one is, he doesn't seem to fit into the picture gracefully. He is afflicted with being different. He thinks differently. He feels differently. And he has a built-in set of responses that very few can fathom. His head may be in the clouds, but his heart is in the right place. It is with people, and they are very important to him. It's just so difficult to convince anyone of this when you're young. One thing he'll always have, and that is friends. He'll collect them like other kids collect match covers, autographs, and marbles. He will not rebel against authority. He will simply refuse to acknowledge its existence. His thought will always be, if it is, it is suspect. In his second season, the young Aquarian begins his odyssey. No road will be too remote, no avenue too crowded. He will travel them all. He'll turn up in places most people never knew existed. The difficulty is that there are so many wrongs in the world, where does one begin? What good is it to have a message from tomorrow when you can't make people listen? Aquarians have the problem of remembering. And that is because they are remembering the future. Finding a place is the water bearer's dilemma. In his third season, the Aquarian who has arrived discovers that in one you may find all. In one job you serve the cause of work. In one cause, you serve all causes. In one love, you know all love. For the Aquarian has the greatest contribution to make. It is the talent for seeing beyond notion to truth, of being able to see beyond the necessity of the moment to the necessity of tomorrow. final season, the water bearer is still unconventional, still stating the ideal yet to be, still telling the world that it has a long way to go. Loved by many, idolized by the young, and very close to wisdom, if not in the heart of it, and possessing the gift that men have always longed for, the gift of prophecy. For Aquarians, men and women alike, to become is to care and they know the satisfaction of having reached above themselves to embrace other people and greater realities. <laughs> 